Hey folks, it's Philly Boy J, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make llama beans and ham hocks. This is a recipe that I did on my previous channel. I'm going to be doing it again. I love this dish because it's absolutely delicious, first of all, but it's really hearty and it's good to eat during the autumn and winter months. When it's nice and cold outside, you want something like this. People love to eat stew, soups and hearty dishes like this during the fall and winter months. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my llama beans and ham hocks. For those of you who've been following me for a while, you probably already know how I do it. For those of you who did not see the previous video, I'll be showing you how to make it again. Here we have a package of llama beans and these are large llama beans by Goya. Now, whenever I make beans, I always separate the good beans from the bad beans. So we're going to go and do that first, all right? Here we have our llama beans. And I just want to show you what a bad llama bean looks like. You see that? That's cracked. You want to remove that. So pretty much any crack or broken beans that you see, you want to make sure that you remove them, okay? Then we're going to rinse these off with water. Now, what we have to do is we have to cook our ham hocks. We're going to boil you them, and we're not going to add the beans to the ham hocks until the ham hocks are nice and tender. So during that time, that's when I'm going to soak my beans because I didn't get a chance to soak them overnight because I just bought them. Okay, so I'm going to remove all these bad beans and I'll get back with you guys. Okay guys, so now that we removed the bad beans, we're going to fill this bowl up with water and we're going to place these beans aside and let them sit until we're ready to add them to the pot of ham hops. Make sure you cover them in water and set them aside in the refrigerator. All right, guys, so let's focus on the other ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need some parsley flakes, some thyme. Those are thyme leaves. We're going to be using some celery salt because I want this dish to have a celery flavor. Okay, but if you don't have celery salt, you can use seasoning salt or regular salt, but I prefer celery salt because it adds a certain flavor to the dish. You're going to need some garlic powder, some black pepper. We're going to be adding some margarine or butter, some sugar. Yes, I said sugar. All right, that just to balance out all the flavors, always add a little small amount of sugar. That's the way my grandmother did it. And some chicken flavor bouillon cubes. And because we're using chicken flavor bouillon cubes, we're not going to be using a lot of celery salt. Make sure, by the way, you visit my website, phillyjcooking.com, for the cooking time and all the exact measurements. The full recipe can be found there. All right? So these are the seasonings and ingredients you're going to need. By the way, this is best served with white rice. So I'm going to be making some white rice on the side, but my grandparents, they used to always eat it just by itself. You know, lava beans and ham hocks, just like that. But it's best served with white rice. Now, some of you may want to know if you can use another meat. You absolutely can. But I think that this recipe is best using ham hocks. But... Everybody don't eat pork. I'm gonna give these a nice rinse. Um, the best alternative to me is smoked turkey tails. You can use those. We wanna rinse these off really quickly. All right. 
Okay, guys, so you don't even have to wait until your water comes to a boil. Just add your hops to a big pot of water. You're going to place them over medium heat and let them go. I chopped up some celery, some green bell peppers, and some onions. So we're going to get ready to add that to the pot of ham hocks along with the beans and the seasonings. Okay guys, so here are our ham hocks. And they're not completely tender, but they shouldn't be. But they are halfway tender, and they're going to be very tender once everything is done. We're going to add our lima beans now. They've been soaking for a while, so they look kind of funny, as you can see. But we're going to add the lima beans to this water. Okay. We're going to follow that up by adding our chopped onions, green peppers, and celery. We're going to add one bouillon cube, and we're going to add our seasoning. Okay, I combined all the seasonings off camera, so make sure you add that. And last but not least, you're going to add your margarine or butter. That's about three tablespoons. All right. You're going to stir this all in. All right. Then you're going to cover it with a top or lid rather. I forgot to let you guys know that I did cover it with a lid while the ham hocks was cooking and that's really important. I forgot to mention that but you have to cover it with a lid so that the ham hocks get nice and tender. So we're going to let this go. I'm going to cover it with a lid again and when I get back with you guys it will be all done. Guys, look at those llama beans and ham hocks. Look at it. And that's Philly Boy J work. I'm about to, man, I'm about to grub. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to grub. Look, look, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And I want there to be some, like, gravy. Whatever you like to call this. I want it to be kind of loose. You have to be cautious when cooking food like this over the stove. Because sometimes it may appear that you need to continue cooking it. Because you may see a lot of juice. But gravy thickens up once you cut the fire off. Okay, so... Once you cut the fire off, it's going to thicken up and look how, look how, look how good this looks. Just, just look at that. And the meat from the ham hot broke apart. I didn't even need to take it out and break it up myself. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at this. This is just too good. This is too good. I'm about to eat this over some rice. Mm, 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 mm. Let's serve this guys now. Okay, guys, so that's our white rice. And now we're going to add our lima beans and ham hocks. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Let's, let's look.
Guys, you got to try this recipe out. It is absolutely amazing. I don't make it too often, but man, I'm going to make this at least two more times before the spring. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Guys, I gotta go. This is absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoy the recipe. It is delicious. Llama beans and ham hops from Philly Boy J. And yes, I do eat the fat. You know, I, I, I do eat the fat because it's delicious. But uh, yeah, let me just cut this and just look at some. Oh, look at that, guys! Look, look at the, look at the meat! Look at that meat! Look at that meat! Just look at the meat! Look, look at that! It's falling right off the bone. It's just falling right off. It's so tender. Look at this! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Mmm! 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 Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh, this is this is amazing. I, I can't, I can't. The meat. Guys, I gotta go. Peace. Hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it's PBJ, and for more of my delicious and easy to make recipes, visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest videos, and come join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.